Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back for another Total War video with the Terminator. Of all the late antiquity mods for Total War, there are two that are probably the most popular. These are Divide and Impera for Rome 2 Total War and its prodigy Ancient Empires for Attila. Now there are a few others worthy of note of course, Wars of the Gods is another excellent mod in the time period, as is Europa Perdita, but DEI and AE are definitely at the top of my personal list. Now, the problem with Ancient Empires is that development has been pretty stagnant for the last year, with the dev team breaking off into new projects, dealing with real life stuff, and essentially not having the time they once had to continue the mod's development. That means that updates haven't been happening for over a year, and the mod has been left in a state that is definitely playable and enjoyable, but could still do with a bit of polishing and bug fixing. Well, in this video, guys, I'm here to tell you that after a long time of waiting, Ancient Empires is finally back on track and by the looks of things, better than ever. A new couple of modders called Garvia, Loken, and Heclius have taken the reins of mod development and have started off by releasing a series of really well done community patch submods that solve some of the issues players have been experiencing. And not only that, but these two brilliant modders are now focusing some of their efforts on rebuilding the mod from the ground up, shaking off all the buggy code that Ancient Empires is built on for a more stable and bug-free campaign, adding new features like custom battle maps, and generally just getting the mod into a much better place than it's ever been before. In today's video, I want to talk about all these great changes, all the fantastic community patches, and future work being done to Ancient Empires, because I am super excited about all of it. So let's get started! Ancient Empires is a mod for Attila Total War that began development in early 2015, with the promise of delivering an immersive and engaging Total War experience set at the time of the rise of Rome. I've dropped a link below in the video description to the workshop page so you can go in there and check it out for yourself, but everything it's done so far is incredibly impressive, with loads of new units, playable factions, campaign mechanics, and best of all, great historical detail. With humble beginnings as a submod for Divide and Impera, which is likely where it got much of its inspiration from, it moved development from Rome 2 to Attila in favor of the superior gameplay mechanics at the cost of what some would say is less optimization. But nevertheless, they cracked on and have so far delivered an immense mod that is actually super fun to play. It comes with 45 playable factions, all divided into subgroups of cultures and geographical areas such as the successor states, the Greek kingdoms, or the African and Arab tribes, all with historical accuracy of the time at its heart. So fleshed out building trees, more varied and unique units for each faction, brilliant area of recruitment options, and a diverse set of cultures that mesh and mix with each other depending on the region. What makes Ancient Empires amazing though is the level of detail the modders have brought to the time period and the amazing challenge in the campaign. The best example of this and of course what the mod is built on is the primary conflict of the time period, the Punic Wars. As Rome or Carthage, you start off battling and bloodied, gearing towards the end of the Second Punic War on the eve of the Great Battle of Zama between General Cornelius Scipio and the Carthaginian strategy god Hannibal. One of my favorite parts of this mod, just to give you a flavor of the depth and detail, is the main settlement buildings. When you conquer a new city as Rome, for example, you don't just repair and build the first main settlement building, you have to decide the autonomy of the city and and the surrounding region. Give it too much power, like an independent state, and you won't get much in tax income, but you will have a shitload of happiness because you're letting them essentially keep their own local culture, and vice versa, with the other options giving you more control or a balance between autonomy and subservience. Battle AI on open field battles is pretty decent, barbarian settlements have thrones or Britannia battle maps, there's a great supply submod to use, public order and food production is challenging, everything here is really well done, perhaps a little less polished than DEI, but it's definitely in a place where if you're bored of Divide and Impera, or if you don't enjoy it, this is a fantastic alternative. 
Overall, what Ancient Empires does such a good job of is bringing to life a time in Roman history seldom covered in Total War. You're thrown right in the middle of a major Mediterranean war between some of the greatest generals in history with factions that need a lot of management and campaigns that need a lot of strategic thinking. I love the unit visuals, I love the challenge, the AI aggression, it's just all really well made. The latest community patch that was released a few weeks ago tweaks the AI to be even more challenging to the player by being more active in the campaign and in battles to make some smarter decisions as well. There are overhauls to some mechanics like loyalty, character traits, and skills. These submods, which I've linked below in the video description, aim to try their best to fix the many issues that people have had with ancient empires, and for the most part, they are pretty successful. The modders, Garvio, Loken, and Heclius, as well as a few others, are doing an amazing job of giving Ancient Empire some much needed life. The community patches are a great start at doing this, but it's not their only focus. Recently, Garviel made an announcement on the Ancient Empire's Discord about remaking the mod from the ground up, which is incredibly exciting, and they're calling out for developers and players to help them with this endeavor. What that means is that Ancient Empires is well and truly back on track for development, and beyond that, the fact that it's happening from the ground up means that people can have a real say in the many aspects of this fantastic mod's development. Things like custom battle maps that they're already starting to work on, campaign and battle AI that can definitely get some improving, factions that can get a bit more love, bugs that can get worked out, all of these things are currently getting worked on. And the point I want to get to here, guys, essentially, is that the team needs some help. If you're a player and you haven't played Ancient Empires in a while, get back into it and give feedback to the team with your thoughts, your issues, and let them know what they can improve. If you're a modder or a developer and you have some time, you love the mod and can contribute, get in touch with the team and let them know what you can do to help. I mean, even if you don't have modding skills but you want to give it a shot, even that will make a big difference to this mod's continued development. At the end of the day, all of this is a community effort. We all want great mods to be even better for players to enjoy Total War in a new, exciting, and fun way. Ancient Empires is definitely one of those mods that deserves this time and effort. If you're interested, I urge you to get involved and help make it the best it can be. And that's it for today guys. Ancient Empires is definitely one of my favorite mods, so this is essentially my effort to try and spread the word and get some support for these modders. If you want to get in touch with them, there are links to the mods and the Discord servers in the video description below, so get in there, say hello, and start helping out with the project as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, do give it a like and drop any thoughts or questions in the comment section below. Subscribe for more Total War content, gameplay, and news just like this. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.